foreign sponsors of the African Republic exposed Simon Ekman strike attack David Honday. Okay, my people, no be small matter. David Honday, a controversial uh, uh, journalist and well um, award winning, uh, 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 you know, uh, writer, has gotten attacked by Simon Ekpa and the Afrian Republic uh, government and uh, the disciple Tomazi Namdekano. Um, well, uh, what Ondein said to me to an extent, it is a very big error. Yes, they don't talk about uh, the, a, a, an upcoming republic the way he spoke and um, the people funding or supporting the republic. Everything is still uh, under confidentiality. All right, um, let's quickly go straight and then let's check what is happening. This is today's news. Simon Ekwa, a prominent figure in a Biafran separatist movement, has ignited controversy following his revelation of a partnership with the U.S. government amidst accusation of being an American agent. Investigative journalist David Ondain recently stirred the debate by exposing alleged foreign sponsors of Biafran terrorism. Linking ECMA both American and European interests that may be fueling unrest in southeastern Nigeria. Hondain's investigation suggests that ECMA, who is based in Finland, runs a terror organization under the guise of the Biafran separatist movement with the backing from international actors. He implicated American and European financial interest in supporting Biafran separatism, a claim that has raised serious concern about potential foreign in interference in Nigeria. In Nigerian interest affairs, according to Ondei, those foreign sponsors are allegedly aiding EPA in destabilizing the Nigerian government. In response to this allegation, Simon Ekwa took to his social media to dismiss on his claims, labeling them as false and deranged conspiracies. He acknowledged his partnership with the U.S. government, facilitated by lobbyists, but reframed it as a legitimate high-level collaboration. Ekwa boasted about the influence of these lobbyists, suggesting that they are actively shaking the terrorist state of Nigeria and hinting that his relationship with the U.S. is having a considerable political impact. Thank you for listening to today's news. Um, yes, the sponsors of Biafra, of Biafra Republic, mostly are from the foreign country. You see, I, I, I don't blame America and I don't blame the UK and I don't blame Germany and Japan for uh, extending their support to see that the Republic of Biafra is achieved. Reason being that if you, see, if you look at it very well, all that was agreed upon after helping Nigerian government to achieve independence and also helping them to become a republic is not what is ongoing as we speak. Instead, it is something else. Now, something else that you have also. And you know, make sense. You know, pass the message well. You understand? So that is why I am very much angry with Monday for you know exposing this very person but not that exposing this very person is going to cause harm to them no, nobody can question america even uh even if you know that uh, this particular person from america is the one funding um ipop for the pressure nobody question them because why 
there is nothing wrong and there is no harm in saying what you are saying okay so please dear listeners out there and friends i would like to hear from you and also to know what your opinions and what your take about what has just been said or reviewed right now maybe it is a pleasure don't forget to click on the red subscribe buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you